Hey everybody, I want to uh, show you guys a quick little um, tutorial on how I do my PID tuning on my Tyrannus and uh, the reason I'm making this video is I did some research on this and I was looking around the YouTube and looking for tutorials on how to do PID tuning via the transmitter and there's a lot of different ways of doing this. Um, it was Some of these things were kind of confusing. So I just wanted to show um, what I did, which I thought was kind of simple. And uh, I want to give a shout out to Brandon Cruz, who showed me how to do the um, switch inhibit on, on the Tyrannus. Uh, that's the one thing that had me confused and I couldn't figure it out. Um, but he showed that to me, and so I'm going to show it to you guys in this video. So I'm in clean flight here. I'm pit tuning my HMB 180. I swapped out the motors. I went to a smaller motor, a 1306 motor, and I wanted to see if uh, the higher key V with the 4-inch pops would um, fly better than the uh, larger motor. So this is sort of my test. And these are the uh, PIDs I'm using. I'm on uh, Betaflight 2.6.1 on Luxflow, and these are the PIDs I have right now in my um, clean flight. And uh, there's the HMB 180 right there. And here's my Tyrannus. And so what I did was I set up these three switches here in this knob to um, do my pitch tuning. So when this um, switch here, which is SC, is okay. So hold on a second. Let me, first, first of all, let me uh, when I when this switch here SD is up, it inhibits these two switches. So when this is up, these two are not activate active at all. Um, which is what I want because I don't want to change the PIDs while I'm flying I act by, ac by accident. That would be very bad. And I'll show that to you in the uh, screen down below. But what this what this switch does SD is that when it's up, it inactivates these. When they're when they're when it's all the way down, then these are now active. So um, when it's up like this, I don't do any tuning. And when if I want to tuning, I bring it down. Anyway, uh, on this switch SC, when it's up, it does. Uh, I have it set up in clean flight to do. Um, uh, the P on the roll and the pitch. When it's in the middle position, it does the I on the roll and the pitch. And when it's in the lower position, it does the D on the roll and pitch. And and uh, if I want to increase that, I just twist the knob. This is in the center position right here. I just twist the knob up to increase the numbers. And I twist it down uh, to decrease the numbers. So I'll demonstrate that here. But first, let me show you how I have it set up in the Tyrannus. So, go to my model. And I have um, uh, SC and A2. And so SC is this, is this one right here. And this is A2. Right, so this is channel 6 and channel 7. So let me go into those. And you can see right here when it says SD is down, that actually inhibits that switch. So let me go into here and we'll edit this. And you can see right here, this is set to SD is down. When this is set, I mean, that this is actually what does the, in in the inhibit. Uh, the switch SD inhibits. Uh, this channel, so when it's uh, it's only active when the, S the switch is down, and if it's up, it's inactive. And is it? I have it also set up on the other channel. So this is channel six and channel seven, which is um, in clean flight. I set that, that up as aux two and aux three. So let me show you that here in clean flight. So you go to the adjustments tab, and and get that to focus. Okay. So right now you can see that uh, aux two is in the middle. It's not doing anything, and and I try I can move my switches and nothing happens. Now if I uh, activate switch SD, um, aux two now is in the high position, which is going to make the adjustments on the. Uh, pitch and roll for P, 
and then the actual adjustments are made via aux 3 which is the knob so if I want to go to do I I just switch that switch and then it goes to the middle and then if I want to do D it goes over to the right there so you want to set up your ranges uh, on the switch that you're going to program whatever channel it is and, and this, uh, the aux channel you've got so that that, that that the three position switch will be in the range to activate um, uh, these uh, adjustments here for P, I, and D. And then you can use um, aux 3, which is the knob, to actually make the adjustments. So what I'll do is I'll go over to back to my PID tuning page. And you can see here that we have uh, 4.7 for the pitch and roll for P and go back to my trans here I have it activated here when this switch this is all the way up so it's on P so I'll, inc I'll, I'll turn the knob and I'll increase it so that and then go back to the middle so now uh, when I hit refresh here it should you should see an increase and now it's at 4.9 so if I want to go back down, just turn my knob left and back up. Once it, when, when it's centered, it doesn't do anything. And I'll go back over here to refresh. And we're back at 4.7. So it's a little quick tutorial on how to set up your Tyrannus and clean flight to do um, pit tuning. Uh, you can do this on your Tyrannus. And this is the way there, there's a there's a myriad of, of different ways of doing this. There's also a lot of different tutorials, but I thought this one was a little bit simpler, and so I just wanted to show you guys how I did mine. Hope you guys find this video helpful. Uh, please leave me comments below if you have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys later.